Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back with a melting basket. I'm doing a different kind of melting basket this week. Um, and I know I'm late. It's This is technically going to be uploaded either late Monday night, which is tonight, or it'll go up tomorrow, Tuesday. So, I was going to do my empties on... Saturday, but I didn't. Uh, in fact, I was actually in the middle of filming it and then my parents called to tell me that they were on their way to, uh, to my house. Saturday was just a crazy day. I had, uh, I had a washer delivered. I had a washer delivered. Hello. Um, Oh, and I got a new TV, which I'm so excited about. I can't even tell you guys like how excited I am about just having a TV. Uh, the next thing is to get internet. I'm just doing one thing at a time. I know it's taking forever. I want to have a pretty background at some point. And, you know, like you guys can see something better than some blinds, but uh, it's gonna take me some time, okay? So <laughs> anyways, I wanna show you guys what I picked uh, for my melting basket. I, again, I, I can't remember if I said this already because I started to film it and then I had to redo it. So I'm doing loaves and like large quantity things. This includes BAM bags from Super Tarts. So, um, yeah. Um, and you know, I was thinking about it because I, a lot of, so this is, this is what it looks like. Did I show you guys this already? I can't remember you guys. Um, <laughs> my brain has been everywhere. I had such a busy day. Um, <laughs> what can I think of what I'm trying to say? Um, oh, so <laughs> I was thinking like, well, what if like all of my loaves are like bakery or like whatever? I want to have scents for the bathroom. Well, I have scents in here for the bathroom, so I'm not really that upset about it. Um, and I think it'll do for now. So I want to show you guys everything that I have in my loaf basket. I just pulled this and I might put it all back in the drawer because all of, all of my loaves are in one spot in my drawers for my wax, for my loaves. <sighs> okay. So let's just get started. Okay. So I have this giant ass blossom bar. Um, it's like a hundred ounce bar basically. Um, it's McBoo. It's from Vintage Chic Scents. It's gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallow, palo santo, and vanilla frosted grams. This is seriously so good. Look how big this thing is. Like, do you see my head? Hello? It's huge. I have no business ordering something like this, so I will be chopping this up and sending this to some friends because I, I have no use and having this much wax of one scent. I mean, I like the scent a lot, but I don't need this much. I mean, I just don't. So, um, I'm excited about this. It's really good. Um, I, I, no, I've had it, yeah. Oh, it's so good. And you know, a lot of the scents in here for my open area, I'm gonna be doing bakery, and I haven't been doing bakery that much in my open area. I mean, sometimes I do. But it's going to be like stormy and rainy this week. Uh, we're supposed to have severe weather. And I just thought, you know, yeah, I kind of want like comforting scents for that type of situation. So stuff like this will come in handy. Okay, so I have that. Um, I'll show you this. This is um, a Homeworks candle that I chopped up in Hot Cider Donut, you guys. I love this candle. I chopped one and I burned the other one. This is so good. And to me, it's stronger chopped up. And there was a scent that reminded me of this. And I can't remember what it is. I'll have to let you guys know, but I love this. And you know, it's obviously a fall scent, but to me, it's just a really good, just cinnamon sugar, like bakery scent. So. This will be good and I can, you know, mix it with things too. I really want to do a lot of mixing, especially with all my loaves. I have one loaf from Rose Girls and it's Love You a Latte. I might take this with me to work one of these days and melt it there. Um, you know, just, I like coffee when it's raining. I love coffee scents, but I just haven't really been warming them that much. 
if I do, it's like on a Saturday or something like that. But this is, this is really good. I think it's actually available on the Rose Girls website. So just kind of an FYI on that. Um, oh, I have one here from Salt Mountain Melts. This is Happy Holidays. This one is pumpkin souffle, pie crust, vanilla milk, and marshmallow fluff. You know, obviously not in season, but you know, I, I might, I might warm it. I might mix it. I don't know. I probably, this will probably be the, like the last one that I melt if I, you know, with my loaves, this will probably be the last one. So I probably won't melt this, but I don't know. It's in there. So whatever. Um... Oh, I have a couple from Destination Wax. I have Moon Spice Cookie, which is sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. I love this. It is so good. Oh, you guys, it's so good. I love this. I think I remember, oh yeah, I did melt this at work at one point. It's just amazing. I love it. And then I have Palo Santo Rosewood, which is Palo Santo, Red Roses, Cedar, and Sandalwood. So this has been curing since September. Um, I mean, it was poured on September 1st, but I, I don't think this is going to do well in an open area. It's just not going to be that strong. So I would say like, I'd probably just put it in my kitchen and like my bedroom, bathroom, something like that. I don't like her bags. They're just not the best to me. Like the loaf bags just are kind of harder to shut, but it's not the end of the world. But I love this scent. It's so good. It's so pretty. Um, let's do L3. So I have the infamous Beach Nights that I have yet to finish. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, you guys. I'm just kind of over that scent. Uh, today is October 3rd. Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. So I got a blend of this in an order that I placed today from L3. It's Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. <laughs> with today's October 3rd. So I'm kind of like justifying like, okay, I could probably melt this tonight. Um, I wanted to melt this tonight because, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. And it's gonna get kind of chilly tonight because we're getting a cold front. So I was like, you know what? And I don't have a lot left, so that will probably end up being finished, which I'm happy about. Okay, um, oh, I'm not done with L3 yet. This one is Cookies with the Clauses, which is Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Claus's Cookies and Sugar Milk. And this is a pretty full bag. I didn't get the best throw from this, but I'm hoping with the age that it's been, I mean, I've had this since like late summer. I'm hoping that this performs better now. I will let you guys know. I might even try that tonight instead of the today's October 3rd, we'll see. Um, Pennywise. This one is sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. This is not a spicy funnel cake scent is what it says on the bag. Um, I agree. This is a very like syrupy, like, like raspberry, strawberry syrup with funnel cake. Yeah, it really is. It's amazing. I love this. I think I saw Danny talk about this and she likes it. I love it. It's really good. And again, kind of a nice comforting kind of scent. I think this is the last one from L3 and it's uh, Root Beer Float. And I have a lot of this and I love it. It's so good. Yeah, it's just a really good Root Beer scent. Oh, you know what? Hannah Blazin was the one who told me about, well, not told me specifically, but I remember seeing her do a haul and she talked about this scent and it was really good to her. So, and I agree, it's really good. Okay, Super Tarts Bams. So this is perfect. I have this much left of a second Bam bag from this. And I love it. It's just such a good, it reminds me of my old job because I remember melting this quite a bit um, when I was out of town. Love this, it's so good. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys, this is probably like 100% my most favorite scent ever. I'm not kidding. This is Casper from Super Tarts. This is seriously like life changing. I love this. Oh. Everything about it is so good. It's it's a Mexican fried ice cream like bakery scent. 
You guys, I the next time this is available in a pre-order, I will buy two BAM bags. I'm not kidding. This is just so good. I never want to be out of this scent. It is amazing. It is amazing. It performs so well. Like 24 hours in my open concept area. Just heaven. I mean, it's heaven. It's heaven. It's heaven. It is amazing. Amazing. Another one that I love is Full House, which I don't know for sure if there's zucchini bread in here. I don't think there is. Maybe there is, but I'm pretty sure there's like cookies, you know, just kind of like a bakery scent. But this is amazing. It's so good. I love this. I have been primarily warming this like in my bedroom. I don't know why, but like it's been like a nighttime blend for me. This is so good, you guys. I can't even explain it. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, this one is Get Out of the Water. This is going to be a good like bathroom scent for me. Um, I believe it's strawberry with Jaws and I have warmed it and it's really good. It's just a nice, like clean, fresh Jaws blend, but there's sweetness too, which I like. I think that I'm liking Jaws blends more than I like Jaws by itself, but I still really like Jaws. I do, but I think I'm enjoying the Jaws blends more I'm not sure but this is really good too so that'll be a good bathroom scent another good bathroom scent is Jessica Jones this one's amazing this is blackberry and rain it's amazing you guys it's so good it's just a really pretty like oh it's just oh, it's so good and you get the blackberry in here 100 it is amazing I love this I can't wait to melt that one Another one that I'm super excited about is Fake and Bake. And this is a zucchini bread. And it smells really good. And I ordered this because Canada Kim 1978 has talked about this scent. And I guess it's like it really comes to life when it's warming, just like a lot of super tart scents do. But it's, um, she said it kind of like gives her a vibe that you know, you're cooking in your house or something like that. It's like very realistic. And I swear you really do have to warm super tarts to get a feel for what it smells like because they really do transform. This is completely full. I haven't melted it yet. So I will be warming that one. And the last one is Beauty and the Beast. And this is Blackberry with Magically Delicious, which Magically Delicious is like a, a cereal blend. And I do get the Blackberry in here. I'm hoping... This one does better than the Magically Delicious by itself because Magically Delicious is, it's a good scent, but it's not, it doesn't last very long. Like it might last like two or three hours and then it's over. So I'm hoping with the added Blackberry in here that this will perform. I'll let you guys know. So that is my melting basket for the time being. I have my other melting basket full of wax. Um, I just, I really like, <laughs> it's, I feel so stupid because like I'll order wax, like I'll order, um, like bam bags or loaves or whatever. And then I think, oh, well I have a ton of it, so I won't melt it. I don't know why I do that. Um, but I really should work on, you know, stuff that I have a lot of too before I, you know, cause, and I think the reason why. I don't get through loaves very fast is because I'm focusing on things that I don't have a lot left of just to finish it, which I think is a good tactic to have, but I really need to like make a dent in these because they take up a lot of room. And a lot of the scents in here I love because obviously why would I order so much of them? So anyway, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I will have, I'm hoping to have a, um, empties up on Saturday and because I just didn't even have a whole lot to show you guys that was empty I'm hoping to like finish some things but then again it's like well I won't with all this so I don't know I might I, I might still dip into other things in my um basket you know that, that I have other things in that aren't like this big if that makes any sense that aren't loaves or band bags we'll see um, but I really want to make a dent in these and I mean what what can it hurt to go through a week 
just working on these things. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in my next one.